Hi, thanks for joining me on the Discover Your Life Today YouTube channel. My name is Maveen Cora, and today I'm going to go over 10 ways you can participate in Ramadan even if you're a non-Muslim. So really, I'm not Muslim. I'm a, 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 you know, born of the Hindu faith. I personally believe in all different faiths, and I believe in humanity. So you know, I started looking at um, Ramadan. It is the month of Ramadan in June right now, 2017. And I decided to say, you know, how can uh, myself and other non-Muslims around the world take part in Ramadan, even if we're not Muslim? Uh, because, you know, there are so many things happening around the world right now. And I do believe that there is a need for us to come together as one. So really, I wanted to go over, you know, 10 ways. And I'm sure there's a lot more uh, that you could probably even think of once I start going through this list that you can go ahead and imp implement as well. And, you know, find ways to be... Uh, awesome with uh, one another. So when you're ready, let's uh, get uh, going on this. And uh, so let's get going. Um, so the first way you can take part in Ramadan is, uh, you know, you can also fast because that's, you know, one of the things that uh, in Ramadan, that's what they do, um, you know, is fasting from uh, sunrise to sunset. And what that means is, you know, you're going to eat before sunrise, uh, typically, uh, and, and then not drink any water or have any food during the daylight hours all the way to sunset. Uh, and then once the sunset has happened, then it's time to break that fast and eat together again. So one of the ways you can also do is participate by doing the same type of fast or a similar type of fast. You know, if you have never fasted before, maybe you fast for a few hours uh, or maybe you just have a little bit of water because you, you, you know, you may have not done something like this. So you can always modify it as well, but it'll help you understand the way, um, you know, fasting is done. The second way you can also participate is potentially just meditating. You know, the idea of Ramadan is to allow uh, one to really um, go within and really find uh, ways to connect to other people, connect to your own family, connect to your own spiritual self. You know, so another way that can be done is through meditation as well. You know, um, it doesn't have to be done necessarily just through fasting or prayer. Uh, and meditation doesn't have to be prayer either. So, uh, you know, you can maybe meditate 10, 15 minutes or even five minutes as starters if you've never meditated before. Or really just do some breathing and relaxing and really spend a few minutes with yourself and uh, try to get to know yourself. A third way you can do is maybe just spend time with loved ones. So again, I know a lot of times we're really getting busy nowadays uh, and a lot of people use that as an excuse that they are not able to spend some time with their loved ones because they're too busy. So one of the things I would suggest is, you know, because Ramadan is about spending also time with your loved ones, uh, you know, if you're non-Muslim, you can also spend some time with people you haven't spent time with and just kind of reconnect. You know, we typically only reconnect during Thanksgiving or Christmas or maybe birthdays uh, or, or potentially even here every so often here and there. So one of the other ways is, you know, this use this month uh, of June uh, 2017 to connect with people as well uh, that you may have not connected with in a long time. The uh, fourth way here, uh, sorry, the yeah, one, two, three, four, fourth way uh, that I would suggest maybe is to donate. You know, you can also donate of your time or your money and or energy as well. Uh, when we donate, you know, we are uh, donating to the cause of the world. We are trying to improve everything and everybody around us and in our community. So one of the ways that we can do that is, again, to donate. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. The fifth way uh, I would suggest that you can also take part in Ramadan is to be grateful. You know, grateful for what you have and even what you don't have. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people who wish they were in our positions, that they could have the things that we have, the amenities that we get to enjoy. So really just, you know, uh, get get up every day and be grateful for what you have. I think that's one of the things, uh, the ideas of meditating or praying or even fasting can do for you is, you know, is helping you be grateful for the food you have or, you know, the food that you maybe don't have and you start appreciating it a little bit more when you just slow down in life and uh, just enjoy those things that you can be grateful for. 
Uh, number six, you know, maybe sacrifice, you know, uh, a lot of times we don't sacrifice anything. We just kind of in, in North America have this mentality of we deserve everything and we shouldn't have to sacrifice anything and we can just keep getting, getting, and getting. And that's fine. You know, there is a place for that type of thinking as well. But, you know, sometimes we have to uh, give up something to get something as well. So, you know, sacrificing, uh, I think a lot of people who are Catholic have the, an understanding of this during Lent. Uh, you know, they do give up something or they, uh, you know, they may give up smoking or, or um, drinking or sex or something and then, um, you know, sacrifice that for that period of Lent uh, just so they can also understand, right, you know, and uh, in Ramadan, it's a sacrifice for a little bit longer period of time. I believe it's 31 full days that you are sacrificing. So, you know, start something small. You don't have to sacrifice anything big, but start somewhere and then just keep building on that. Uh, another thing you can do is just learn another culture. I think, you know, because a lot, you know, there's 1 billion Muslims in the world and, you know, there's obviously about 6 billion people who are not. So uh, it's, it's an obviously, I think, important for us to learn about other people and other people's cultures and learn how to take part in those other people's cultures. It's not just uh, people of the Muslim faith. It's also people of, you know, uh, the Buddhist faith or Hindu faith or the Sikh faith or the Christian faith or the Catholic faith and all the other faiths that are out there. Uh, you know, it, it is important to go ahead and learn about other people and other people's cultures and their faiths and why they do certain things, right? So if we just go out there and partake and, and find out from those people, you know, how, how can I better understand your culture so I can better understand you and then we can live together as a community. This one's pretty interesting. So uh, when the there is a fast, you know, the pe people who are fasting typically aren't going to be cooking it as well. So one of the things that you can do is maybe if you have a friend or a neighbor who is Muslim, uh, you can contact that person and say, hey, you know, would you mind if I maybe cook up some food for you, bring it over to your home? That way it takes a little bit of burden off of you uh, because, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to uh, maybe go through the whole day fasting and then have to cook a meal uh, for yourself and your family at the end of the day. So one of the nice things we could do is maybe maybe offer to bring some food over to a, one of our friends home and even partake in that dinner although uh, it may be a little late depending on time of year uh, but it's maybe a, a pretty neat idea to, to do something like that the ninth way you can maybe help out is do some yard work you know depending on north if you live in North America if you live in Europe depending on it, you know the weather in your uh, community and where you're living in the country that you're listening to this uh, YouTube uh, uh, video you know I'm me I'm living in Calgary Alberta you know here it snows and it's gonna rain it's gonna uh, the grass grows and everything so you know if you're out there maybe offer to cut your uh, neighbor's lawn or even shovel your uh, you know neighbor's sidewalk during the those times of Ramadan and maybe you can then build some sort of understanding and you guys can help each other out as well it kind of helps build that community again you know one of the things we have to realize like I was mentioned earlier you know when you know people are fasting they're typically not going to also be drinking water so if the weather is you know 30 40 degrees outside and you're not drinking water and then you're going ahead and doing this type of yard work you know you do get dehydrated very quickly so one of the ways you can definitely help out is by doing some yard work, helping out, and helping that person not get dehydrated as quickly as well. Uh, you know, the 10th thing that you can do uh, to take part in Ramadan is really find out a little bit more about Ramadan from someone who is partaking in it. I mean, absolutely, we can go on Google, we can read everything we want to read about it. Uh, you know, we can find it, I'm sure, in all sorts of religious texts and stuff as well. But one of the things you can do is really just have a, a real conversation with somebody who's actually partaking in Ramadan and just say, you know, tell me a little bit about it. Tell me why you, you know, partake in it. Tell me a little bit about your family history and how your family's been taking part in it. And you'll see that you know there's gonna be a lot of similarities between all the different people who are celebrating but there might be some differences as well within different families and how they celebrate and maybe the things that they cook or don't cook uh, you know and, and just like a neat way to get to know your neighbor again or someone who is celebrating Ramadan and you can even find ways to partake just from finding out a little bit of where they go maybe the type of mosques that they're maybe going to and you know who goes to these mosques and why this is happening and and where this all stems from and it's a great way just to kind of keep building that community with all the problems that we have in the world right now. I just think it's, it's going to be really helpful. I want to give just a new uh, uh, way of thinking as well. So I actually thought of an additional way to take part in Ramadan. A lot of the times, you know, when we're being uh, fasting, you know, you're maybe because you're taking away habits and, you know, uh, you're making sacrifices and you're taking away habits again. 
So one of the things I was thinking is instead of t giving, uh, you know, giving or always taking away from yourself, one of the things that you can also do is start a new habit, right? So there's nothing wrong with starting new habits and breaking old habits. So, uh, you know, that'd be number 11, I would say, you know, uh, a way for you to take part in Ramadan is really just start a new habit, you know, maybe a reading habit or going for a walk. You know, it doesn't have to be uh, super hard and, and, uh, <clears throat> and whatnot. But what you can always do is start small and then, you know, maybe you can start bigger habits down the road. Maybe you want to start going hiking once a week or, you know, you want to start helping out in your community once a week and you start getting into those type of habits. But, you know, start small, smart, start where you are and just grow from there. Uh, so that is the 10 plus one bonus ways that you can uh, celebrate uh, Ramadan even as a non-Muslim uh, and still just a great way to help understand the culture, all the different people we have around the world uh, that are celebrating right now in uh, June 2017. Uh, again, remember, uh, you can the, the, the days are, are always going to move uh, year after year after year. So, you know, go out, find out a little bit more, get yourself excited about other people's cultures. And that way, you know, you help them understand your culture as well well because you know the idea is if we partake in theirs they'll partake in ours and they'll and you start building that community uh, go over to the YouTube channel for discover your life today uh, check out other videos that I've also done on there again my name is Maveen Kora you can also go to discoveryourlifetoday.com and check out different articles that I've written uh, either on finance spirituality business marketing health uh, and just all different things that I believe that will help make the world a better place and uh, help you and myself gain a better understanding of who we are as people plus the, all the other people around us.